Rumors about President John F. Kennedy's many alleged affairs are nothing new. Most famous among these stories is Kennedy's supposed ongoing romance with icon Marilyn Monroe, but they certainly don't stop there. Kennedy reportedly had brief romances with Marlene Dietrich, Swedish socialite Gunilla von Post, Blaze Starr, and many others. Was he exploiting you? Well, it certainly was an incredibly imbalanced relationship and not a good relationship um, in hindsight looking back. However, it is worth noting that the Kennedy family has never acknowledged these liaisons, and many of the women remained tight-lipped about their rumored relationships with the late president. However, there has been a recent rupture in this long silence, as one of Kennedy's alleged mistresses has spoken out about her supposed relationship with the president. Diana DeVeg, a New York-based psychotherapist, shared her story in airmail for a groundbreaking article published on August 28, 2021. Diana DeVeg first explained how she allegedly met John F. Kennedy. As she told airmail, she was 20 and was a junior at Radcliffe College. It was 1958, and Kennedy was a senator. DeVeg met Kennedy at a political event when she was surrounded by other students. She recalled the event saying, We all stood up. He gestured to us to sit back down. This is the table I need to be at. You young people will set me straight. The rest of these guys just tell me what I want to hear. We glowed. We mattered. Next, DeVeg recalled how Kennedy came over and put his hand on her date's shoulder and said to him, Give me your seat so a tired old man can sit next to a pretty girl. The affair took off soon after. DeVeg remembered, I went to one rally and then another, giddy with the knowledge of my special place. In the car after a rally, the senator would tease me. You know, I'm working pretty hard for just one vote here. But underneath the teasing, our connection was tapping into a vein of possibility. But DeVeg also noted how quickly she got wrapped up in Kennedy's sphere. She said, It wasn't just him who paid attention to me. I was entirely surrounded by his circle. They were so attentive. Always someone to talk to or bring me a cup of coffee, call me sweetheart. I thought it was grand. When things reportedly took an intimate turn, DeVeg described her conflicting emotions. She recalled, His hand on mine. Mine were icy cold. Oddly, my impulse was to flinch away. I didn't, but what was the matter with me? This was love. Love not spoken, not the explicit words, but silently conveyed in so many ways. So why the confusion? Their affair allegedly continued for four years. Kennedy was married by that point, of course, having wed Jackie Kennedy in 1953. So why did DeVeg choose now to speak out? Well, Diana DeVeg explained in her airmail essay why she wanted to speak about her alleged relationship with John F. Kennedy years after. She said, Me Too has provided a specific context for needed reevaluation. Then there is the broader context of a world still obsessed with stargazing, inequality and idealization as the component parts of celebrity glamour. DeVeg also explained how time has given her greater perspective, saying, I'm also writing because I am old. Old enough that I can look candidly and with compassion at why I was so easily hooked. Why, all these decades later, for so many people, it is still an ongoing project not to get hooked by a passing supernova. She concluded with a moment of retrospection, writing, When I was 20, John Kennedy had all the markers of a romantic hero, but this is not a romantic story. Back then, I thought it was. Was I a dope? For sure. So what? 20-year-olds are not supposed to be wise. DeVeg concluded her essay by saying that she has since forgiven her younger self for falling for Kennedy. And while it seems unlikely that her essay will shift public perception towards America's 35th president, it is very clear that many of the details of his affairs are yet to be revealed. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.